The self-adjusting arc underpins how the MIG-MAG process runs, helping keep the skill levels low and productivity high. In this video, we'll go through how the self-adjusting arc works and what you need to know when you go into your exam. So as a basic overview of our MIGMAG process, which we've seen in other videos, here we have an electrode wire, consumable electrode, making its way through a welding arc and into a weld pool. We can do this in three different ways, being dip, spray or pulse, with a fourth not desired uh, transfer mode called globular. Um, once that happens, we form a weld pool and, and we move along. Now in spray transfer, we can really control the consistency of the arc size by using the principle of self-adjusting arcs. Now, when we look at a, a welding arc like here, what we're gonna have is a change in arc length that will drive a change, a small change in voltage, which will have a larger change in amperage. And that amperage change will then affect the burn-off rate of the wire. If we didn't have this process and we applied a drooping characteristic as with TIG in MMA, as we move the torch in and out, we wouldn't control the size of the arc and the width and the depth of the weld pool would for, forever be fluctuating and it, it would be uncontrollable for what we want in, in MIGMAG. So what we do to correct that is we have what's called a flat characteristic curve. Now here, as we have a very small change in voltage through our arc length, that's going to drive a really large, in comparison, change in amperage. Amperage then affects burn-off rate. So if I push the torch towards the workpiece, the voltage goes down because the arc length is trying to be shorter, but that increases the amperage tenfold and compared to the voltage change. And that increases the burn-off rate, so it melts off faster and brings the arc back to a sensible size. And vice versa, if I pull the torch away, voltage goes up, amperage goes down, burn-off rate goes down, and that wire can then move through the arc more before it burns off. And again, that's constantly feeding back on itself, which means that those very small changes keep the arc pretty much the same length all of the time. And that's our uh, self-adjusting arc. I uh, hope that has been of use to you. It's It can sound like a really complicated subject, but if you can re remember, change in voltage affects the amperage, which affects the burn-off rate. So it keeps the arc consistent, then you should be able to answer any exam question that comes your way. And that's it from us, so thank you and good luck with your studies.